When someone is injured and bleeds, their body triggers the activation of a series of clotting factors. These factors are activated in an orderly chain, just like a line of dominoes, to form a clot and stop the bleeding. Haemophilia is a lifelong condition which affects the blood's ability to form clots. It mostly occurs in males and may be passed genetically from mothers to sons. People with haemophilia are missing or have reduced levels of an essential factor in the chain, meaning that their bodies cannot form a strong, stable clot to stop a bleed. There are two main types of haemophilia, haemophilia A and haemophilia B. People with haemophilia A have little or no factor 8. People with haemophilia B have little or no factor 9. Baseline factor level is the natural amount of factor present in a person's blood. Haemophilia is divided into three levels of severity depending on a person's baseline factor level. People with mild or moderate haemophilia have small amounts of factor in their blood. People with severe haemophilia have almost no factor in their blood. People with severe haemophilia are likely to bleed frequently for a longer time than those without haemophilia and at random. The bleeding tends to occur beneath the skin's surface. For people with severe haemophilia, this can happen after an injury or for no apparent reason, particularly in joints. Bleeding into joints can damage them and over time may result in joint disease. There are medicines to treat people with haemophilia and to manage their condition. People with haemophilia can temporarily replace their missing factor using medicine known as clotting factor replacement therapy. The replacement factor works simply by completing the chain, helping the blood to clot properly. Injections containing replacement factor can be given in two ways. When a bleed is already occurring, called bleed treatment, or to prevent bleeding, called prophylactic treatment. Because the goal of prophylactic treatment is to protect against bleeds before they start, it may also protect against joint damage. People who receive prophylactic treatment have a regular treatment schedule. This treatment schedule and the amount of replacement factor given will be different for each person and whether they have haemophilia A or B. When prescribing, the doctor will take into account a person's baseline factor level, weight and level of physical activity, amongst other things. Over recent decades, the treatment for haemophilia has greatly improved due to advances in knowledge and technology. Today, clotting factor replacement therapy can protect against bleeds and joint damage, is tested extensively for safety and can fit around a person's lifestyle, offering the potential for people with haemophilia to live full, active and healthy lives. If you are interested in learning more about haemophilia, have a look at the rest of our series on haemophilia or speak to your doctor.